What the heck? Why is it flickering like that? That's weird. Hey guys, Man here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be modifying two more Mac apps. In this video, these are Super Fancy Pants Adventure by Bradborn, which is a doodle slash stickman game from Steam, and the Mac App Store version of VVVVVV again. So let's begin. I've played the Flash Fancy Pants Adventure series slash trilogy of games before, and earlier this year I saw a promotion on the website for this Steam game, which claims to be a wild, free-running, smooth platformer with a slick fountain pen. Well, let's try comparing it to the latest of Bourne's Flash games, FPA 3. So one thing you'll notice is that there's no sound effects for walking and landing in this game. So now let's try the Steam sequel, and I'll start the app through Finder instead of through Steam this time. I've tried to do this with Stop Mania and it crashed, but with this it doesn't. So in this game, there are more sound effects. For instance, there are sound effects for when you walk and land, whereas in the Flash version there weren't. And generally, a lot of the sound effects are different for many things, like jumping and kicking enemies, bouncing on springs, and collecting squiggles. You also have new abilities that weren't in the Flash version, such as ink boarding with your new slick fountain pen. And generally, the game just feels fresher to me. It's filled with new enemies, new worlds, and new ideas. So I like this game a lot, and would give it a pretty good review. And I've only played it a couple times at this point, but now I want to play some of the earlier levels. So let's try and do that, and see if we can do that. So pressing escape or space brings up this interface where you can choose your own outfit. And there's also options to read the credits, choose between seven different languages, there's some gamepad options, there's full screen and window toggling, music and SFX sliders, and you can quit the game. However, there doesn't seem to be an option to select a level. It doesn't even have an option to play a new game from the state when you first got it. That's a shame. So let's try completely reinstalling the game and see if that resets our progress. Nope, that doesn't seem to work either. This is exactly where I was before. So there's literally no way to reset the game back to the way it was when you got it. That is really frustrating. To make things more baffling, let's compare this with the three Flash games in the series. In FPA World 3, you get training, level select, and continue options when you start the game up. In the second game, there's also a level selection door. And under trophies and colors, you can even reset the data. When you start the first game, there's a level selection room, and you can reset your data in the options room instead of in the trophies and colors room. It's like saving has gotten worse over time. So not only is the screwed up saving system in the Steam game frustrating, it's completely baffling and doesn't make any sense why it would worsen like that, especially in the Steam version. Bradborn, if you are going to put the word super in the title of this game, please make sure that the most fundamental part of it is just as new and improved as the rest of the game. To me, this means designing a multi-profile interface so that other users can play the game. Otherwise, don't call it that, or don't publish the game at all. And certainly, don't publish a game that has only one profile that you can't reset. It's like using a Super Mario Bros. cartridge that doesn't automatically reset. So when you get to World 8-4, you're stuck on World 8-4! Forever! Very disappointing. Completely baffling. Doesn't make any sense. Whatsoever. We've spent $10 on this app! Anyways, let's move on. I haven't even gotten into the app's files, so let's do that. When I went into some of these folders, I found a flash file called sfpa.swf, which is the largest flash file in the app or 38.3 megabytes, while the app as a whole is 125.1. In Resources Levels World 4, I saw a file called Arena 1, and several folders. These folders contained a whole bunch of these flash files. 
They must all be used for the levels, because every time you enter another area of a world, say Squiggleville Plains, a screen appears that says, Preparing Level. Well, I can't tell which level is which by name, at least at this point. In many Mac apps, there's this macOS folder that contains an executable. It seems to play some role in the app, but I really don't know what. When opened, the app's window is open normally, but this terminal window also opens, which could give me some information about what flash file is running in the app, so I know which one to swap. Well, let's open it and find out. I'm not seeing any SWFs in the window like I thought I might, so that's not working. That means there's really no use in swapping any of these levels. Next, let's swap the names of the flash files Arena 1 and SFPA. When I opened the game, this is what happened. Looks like one of the levels, but the shapes for this wall and platform look pretty weird. So either this is what it looks like, or something in the other flash file that sorts these plain old shapes, or this is some sort of other glitch, because I doubt this is what any of the levels actually look like. I also noticed this bug where when you fall off this platform and lose a life, if you land in the right place, you can go through the door on the platform while dying, whereas normally, you go back to the beginning of the area. Then I noticed another bug where if you fall off a small platform and take damage, you can go left or right to avoid landing on that platform when you respawn, and you won't take damage when you fall again. You can keep doing this, and you won't take damage. Let's see what happens when you lose all of your lives. So you're taken back all the way to the beginning of the world. Interestingly, you can avoid this by exploiting the same bug and entering the bonus room. If done correctly, you'll be in the bonus room with three lives. But again, this is like if Nintendo sold the Super Mario Bros. cartridge where if you run out of lives in World 8-4, you go back to World 8-1 and there's no way to play World 1 again, even if you completely power off the console or unplug everything. If I find a level selection room, a new game option, or a profile interface later in the game, I'll update you guys by uploading an image of it to Pinterest. If you want to check that out, check the description for the link. Otherwise, I think this game really should be updated. Now let's hack V V V V V V. I just can't get over it. How do you pronounce that? The reason I'm doing this again is because I thought it would be interesting to add the SWF files I found in the contents of Fancy Pants to this game as the movie.swf file, and then start the game to see what happens. I've copied two of these SWF files and an alias of the game to my desktop, just to make this demonstration easier on myself. So first, let's try the Arena 1 file and then start the game. Well, it looks like the same thing happens. Now, let's try the sfpa.swf file and start the game to see what happens. What the heck? Why is it flickering like that? That's weird. The last thing I want to show you is that when I right-clicked an swf file, I noticed that under Open With, you can choose VVVVVV. That's interesting. It can open SWF files. This window opens and the path to this SWF file shows in this top bar. Another window with the Movie flash file that's inside of VVVVVV also opens. In this case, it's the renamed SFPA file because I forgot to move the original one back here and replace it. and when you close one of the windows, the entire app quits. I guess that's because it was never meant to run multiple windows at once. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, feel free to like it, share with family and friends, subscribe for more videos, and comment below. I try to upload new videos every Friday. Also, you can check out my channel. I have more videos you can check out. As always, thanks for watching.